The British Queen may well become your boss if you are fluent in English, ambitious, well-educated, or if you Cat In the eternally cloudy and dank England, a real paradise for rats and mice, cats have always been treated with respect, moreover, the tailed ones were even promoted to the rank of civil servants. Incredibly, but a fact, Elizabeth II has a whole staff of fluffy pets at her disposal, which are designed to tirelessly protect all important state facilities. So, for example, in London libraries, archives and other premises of state significance, cats are obliged to catch rodents encroaching on securities for a real salary. The fashion for employee cats appeared in London quite a long time ago, more than 100 years ago. The pioneers in this important business were cats who guarded parcels and letters from rats and mice in British post offices. Today, the tailed ones serve in three post offices in London, in the British Museum, the Palace of Westminster and even in the Ministry of Finance. However, the most famous are three, Larry, Palmerston and Gladstone, and in the fall of 2017, they were joined by another Eastern colleague. Larry. Cats, as in any normal unit, have their own boss, which is characteristic also a cat. The chief's name is Larry. For a long time, Larry lived in the residence of the Prime Minister of Great Britain at 10 Downing Street. Larry got into the corridors of power in 2011, straight from the London shelter for homeless cats and dogs and more than successfully coped with the task. Moreover, if the Prime Minister has recently been replaced, then Larry cannot be replaced by anyone, he watches tirelessly and is rightfully considered the main cat among all other pets. By the way, Larry is only glad to see changes in government structures. It turns out that Mr. Mauser can't stand men, including he didn't recognize Cameron. The only exception was the current US President, Barack Obama, who managed to impress Larry. Such condescension even made the former prime minister jealous. But, as you know, cats don't give a damn about the opinions of others. By the way, Larry even has his own account on the popular social network Twitter, where he discusses the pressing problems of the UK, arranges verbal battles with Palmerston, more about him later, and in November 2017 even congratulated. Prince Harry on his engagement, expressing concern about the couple's lack of a cat. Paul Marston For a long time, Larry had the unspoken status of the one and only, however, the winter of 2016 in London turned out to be so warm and damp that the rodents, instead of sleeping soundly in their burrows, extremely multiplied. The inhabitants of the Prime Minister's residence could not let go of their pet in any way, and meanwhile the Ministry of Foreign Affairs was slowly but surely approaching. It got to the point that the English Parliament was forced to allocate more than £100,000 sterling to fight rodents in government buildings. The staff of the Ministry of Foreign Affairs decided to save taxpayers money and take on the maintenance of a cat at their own expense, and the Queen made the difficult decision to divide the palm between Larry and the new guard. Palmerston Palmerston joined the service from the same orphanage as Larry. He was found on the streets of London, hungry and emaciated. The cat did not have a microchip, which means that even if it once had owners, it is impossible to install them. The cat was named after Viscount Palmerston, one of the Prime Ministers of Great Britain of the 19th century. Lord Palmerston became famous for becoming Prime Minister at the age of 71, and died at the age of 80, having sex with a maid on a billiard table. Knowing the sparkling English humor, it is not difficult to guess why the cat was named Palmerston. By the way, he also has his own personal Twitter account. The British Foreign Ministry even issued a special statement about its new employee, the newly arrived Palmerston cat, who has joined Her Majesty's diplomatic service, is called, as a senior mouser of the Ministry of Foreign Affairs, to reduce the number of rodents in our building on King Charles Street. When placing Palmerston, we worked closely with Battersea Shelter, who meticulously inspected his new home just as they do with all potential cat owners. 
The shelter did not slow down with an answer and responded to the official. Statement no less formally, Palmerston is a very self-confident cat, loving people in general and rubbing against them in particular. Gladstone Gladstone was the third to enter the civil service. The offer, which the fluffy Mauser could not refuse, came from the Ministry of Finance. Gladstone was only a year and a half old at the time of joining the service, a youngster, as the veteran Larry would say. He is a former homeless kitten who was picked up on the street by employees of the same Battersea shelter, by the way, now this area is famous for the fact that Prince George's School is located there. Gladstone used to have the nondescript name Timmy, but upon arrival at the Ministry of Finance, he was immediately renamed in honor of the former Prime Minister and Finance Minister of Great Britain William Gladstone. By the way, unlike Palmerston, he was not famous for anything indecent. Of course, Gladstone is also an advanced cat, and he has his own Instagram account, an extremist organization banned in Russia, where he modestly presents himself as the most popular employee of Her Majesty's Treasury. And Gladstone also runs a Twitter channel where he helps to put other cats from shelters in good hands. Lawrence Abdon In October 2017, Palmerston the cat in his Twitter officially introduced a colleague who joined the British Embassy in Jordan. A charming cat named Lawrence Abdon entered the service of Her Majesty in the same way as senior colleagues through a shelter, more precisely, through the organization Humane Center for Animal Welfare. Before Lawrence Abdon was confirmed as the first diplocat working for the benefit of the Crown abroad, he had to prove his aptitude as a Mauser during a probationary period. It is noteworthy that Lawrence Abdon became the first cat diplomat working outside the UK. The main task of the cats who manage to settle in state institutions is to prevent damage to property and catch toothy vandals in time, which Larry, Gladstone, Palmerston and Lawrence have done do an excellent job with, patrolling their own territory. So that the cats do not get lazy and do not miss the mice, they are fed according to the schedule every other day, so everything is fine with the instincts of Larry and his unspoken subordinates. Cats even wear their own uniforms, yellow bows, instead of a collar, so that any visitor understands that this cat is a civil servant. In addition, as ordinary clerks, cats receive a salary, however, very modest, a little more than £50 a year is allocated for the maintenance of each of the cats. <laughs>